Master has mentioned that the sun is full of love and happiness. Yes. Could you tell us about the benefits of sun gazing? Uh, are there health or spiritual benefits of doing so? Sun gazing. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. If you gaze into the sun about 10 or so minutes in the morning, early morning, you know, when the sun just rise, and 10 or so minutes, more or less, huh? Oh, more, not less, huh? <laughs> in the evening when the sun set, and some people do that so they don't have to eat anymore. Okay? Yes. And health benefits, you know already, I told you. If we go sunbathing, we cure many illness and even cure our psychological misalignment, yeah? And also uh, depression and all that. You see, <laughs> some country with less sun, they feel less happy than the country with a lot of sun. Yes, Master. Is that not so? Yes, right, Master. Okay, then you know already. Thank uh -huh. you, Master. When we practice light meditation, it's like seeing thousands of sun. So would sun gazing help a Kuan Yin practitioner to progress, Master? No need gazing, okay? If you sit in the sun to meditate, it's very, very, very good for your spiritual progress. It could mm. increase hundreds of thousands or millions of spiritual points if wow. you concentrate well, if you deserve it, okay? Wow. I told you, meditate from 10 to 3 is a good time. Why? Because the sun is at the highest. Huh? Okay? Yes, Master. Yeah. Okay. When you meditate in the sun, your meditation merit uh, multiply, okay? Wow. Even even the people who don't practice Kuan Yin method, if they just practice Zen or something like that even. Uh, let me see if I have it somewhere for you. The people who meditate on Kuan Yin method benefits the most from the sun. Other uh, practitioner benefits also a lot, but not as much as the Kuan Yin method. I just don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way I have researched. I have been told, yeah, and I know about that. <laughs> Let me see, okay. <laughs> <laughs> For example, a Kuan Yin and vegan practitioners, if a well-practicing and go into Samadhi, even just a third level, light and sound practitioners can get up to 30 million an hour. Wow. In the sun. Yeah. But cover yourself, huh? Or you sit in the shade and with the sun nearby is shining in, also good enough. Don't sit all day in the sun, it will burn you also. Okay? <laughs> you have cancer and all that. Okay, Just Master. Know. For example, if the sun shine through, yeah? You sit on the nearby the line of the sunshine, yes. <laughs> the sunshine square, <laughs> on the line of it. Yeah? Or sit a while only and come back in that shade, okay? Direct under the sun and then go in the shade or under the sun and cover yourself like canvas or something. You know, like those awning, yes. awning through your window, that's also okay. Oh. Yeah? You don't have to sit direct in the sun in the hottest time of the day. It's not good for you. Okay? Okay, Master. The sun will cure a lot of things, even psychological depression and all that. Yeah, you know that. Yes. I heard that some of the cold country or foggy country or rainy country, many people have to take anti-depression medicine. All right? In the sunny area like Italian, Spain, they don't do it. That's why you see Spanish people, they make festival all the time. Any reason <laughs> we do. Today they carry Lady Madonna all over the town and then they dance all over on the street. Uh, tomorrow another saint, a uh, festival, and they carry that saint uh, a statue all over town and dancing all over the planet. For example, like that. Sometimes they, they close the whole two, three weeks or the whole month. It depends on how big is the saint or how big is the town or how big is their 
happiness, okay? That's uh, right, man. Italian people, they also, they close midday, they don't work. Uh, normally, siesta is two hours, you know, no, they close from 12 to 3.30, 4.30, and sometimes they close until 5, who cares, okay? <laughs> or if they don't like, they just close altogether and come back to my aunt, huh? No money, no money, huh? I think they are very friendly, they are very happy people. They just care a little less about material possession, yeah? Yes, master. Oh, the cities are clean, the houses are neat and tidy, their people are smiling, and their government are okay. <laughs> you know, they protect animals and all that. The Spanish is protecting more and more animals now. So you see no more bow fighting in many places and soon they don't want to chase the bulls either. Yes, I'm very happy about that. The bow chase it seems more humane, but it's also not too good because they confuse the poor animals, you know, scare them, and then run them until they're exhausted and they don't know what to do. And sometimes they, they kill humans by, by sheer exhaustion and, and confusion, you know? They don't know where to go. People are all over them, and they have to find a way to go out. So they, sometimes they gorge people, you know, not knowing what to do even. Anything to do against nature is no good, especially harassing animals in any kind. is not fun for the animals. Sometimes a lot of humans are being killed for that also, because they're trampled upon, yeah? Or they're gorged by the, the, the boat. It's not fun, is it? Okay. All right, health benefit, Fini, anything else? Spiritual benefit, yes, of course. I told you, if you meditate under the sun, you get much, much more. Uh, it depends on the time of the day, of course, huh? And also the place of the sun, yes. But you could get up to 30 million an hour doing light and sight method. By my lineage, other lineage, uh, it's a little bit different but also a lot of benefit, okay? Yes, Master. Light and sound practitioners has a lot of benefit from the sun. If they sit under the sunlight, you know, or nearby the sun area, or under the canvas even, okay? Wow, yes. Or just sit even in the, the, the house where it's sunny, you know, also benefit, but less, less. Uh -huh. Sun gazing, help a quantum practitioner but you should not have to gaze in the sun, all right? Yes. Anything in the sun or even gazing sun, okay too, but don't gaze when it's too hot, huh? Right, right. Sun gazing, no need, just sit in the sun, uh, where the sun is shining through or where the sun is shining on you, huh? Even when it's too hot with the canvas, you know, or inside the tent or with the thin cloth, white cloth, or whatever cloth, uh, according, huh? according to the, the intensity of the heat, it's good enough. You can sit in a sunny porch or something, okay? Yeah? Yes, Master. With the cover, mm -hmm. I told you, you don't have to gaze at the sun. can gaze, but when you gaze, you, you don't close your eyes. See me? Mm -hmm. You can gaze if you want, but not too long, eh? Yes. Yes, Master. For example, if you are third level, high third, eh? not low third, not middle third. You know, I, I divide any spiritual level into three categories, like the, the higher level, the middle level, the lower level. For example, if you're on the third level and on a high, high degree of third level, eh? yes, master. then if you sit in the sun, you could get a lot, a lot, a lot of millions, okay? <laughs> in one hour, all right. More than under some spiritual blessing line even. Wow. Now, I'm telling you all this secret so that the people outside can benefit, not just for you, okay? Yes, Master. That is also uh, combined with a very healthy and uh, spiritual uh, lifestyle, hey? Eh? If you sit in the sun and under the spiritual blessing line on top like that, it's fine enough. Uh, please don't kill yourself by starving to death, okay? <laughs> okay? If you can do it, then you must have 
um, expert to guide you, okay? I don't have time for all that, all right? Huh? Yes, Master. Now, um, any of the light and sound practitioners out there, not necessary in our group, will benefit greatly if they follow these guidelines, all right? I'm saying all this to you so that the Kuan practitioner outside anywhere else from other master or teacher will also benefit. Even the teacher or the master of the light and sound elsewhere themselves would benefit greatly if they sit in the sun, under the sun, near the sun. We'll cover a course of this too hard. And please don't go to India and try, huh? it's, uh, it's truly hot. <laughs> Well, I'm telling you, for example, even not light and sound practitioner, if you just sit there and recite the holy names, yeah, or if you recite the Buddha's name, you benefit many millions as well, okay? I also tell in all this for all kind of spiritual denomination, schools and practices, so that they can benefit more, okay? Now, like this. For example, the people in Buddhism, they, they have the tradition to recite the Buddha's name, yes? Okay. If they do recite the Buddha's name, even the non-vegetarian person or now and then a vegetarian, uh, we call German up and so, I mean, not regular vegetarian. If they sit in the sun and recite the Buddha's name with all their sincerity, they will earn even 200,000 points per hour. Got it? And if they pray, any denomination, Christian, Muslim, Hindu, Zoroastrian, Buddhist, if just sit in the sun and pray, they will get also the same, more or less 200,000 spiritual points per hour. Wow. Even the people, for example, the Zen monks, for example, huh? If they practice Zen only and they sit in the <laughs> meditation for Zen, they even have uh, many millions for an hour if they are vegetarian. If they are not vegetarian, they are less, of course, depends. Huh? Okay? Yes, Master. And uh, average people, even the Zen people who practice like breathing meditation, they carry, you know, like one, two, one to ten, and then it started again, back forward, and they also gain many millions an hour, up to five millions per hour. Zen practitioners, vegetarian, okay? Yes, Master. Uh, if people are vegan and recite the Buddha's name, not my disciple, huh? Then they get up to five million spiritual points. If they do that in the sun. Other people, normal Zen people, they would earn even 500,000 points per hour, you know? The now and then Zen, and not very spiritual Zen, uh, not vegetarian Zen, 500,000 spiritual points per hour. Now, if they are vegan and they don't even practice uh, meditation, they're just vegan because of compassion, and they sit in the sun, on the beach, you know, people go beaching. Yes. In summer, yes. Even though they sit in the sun and do bath, sunbathing, they get six million points per hour. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now, if people are non-vegetarian even and sunbath in the sun, for example, on the beach or on the balcony, they get even one hundred thousand points per hour, just for sitting under the sun. Yes. Peak hour is the best. No. Huh? A vegan who uh, meditate on a uh, number of the Kuala, maybe Om, something like that, yeah? Om Mani Padme Om. They sit in the sun and meditate during peak hours. You know peak hours already, right? Yes. yes nice they could get up to even 10 millions per hour. Wow. And if they are breatharian, okay? and and sit in the sun during peak hour and meditation on Om, you know, something like that, or, or a similar thing, huh? They would get 13 million per hour. Wow. The other one, 10 million. It means 30% uh, more bonus if they are breatharian and sit in the sun to meditate on, uh, you know, those uh, simple meditation like Om or breathing meditation, yeah? 
or vipassana or visualization etc they get 13 million wow thank you thank you so much for all this information uh, i told you the third level one in practitioner can get up to 13 million okay wow. if you are fifth level sit in the sun it helps you together with the spiritual blessing line okay it's getting better all the time no yes. <laughs> okay even the farmer for example he worked at the peak hours in the sun he could gain even two millions per hour just wow. working he farm with business but it's always deducted because he's not you know vegan because he probably kills some worms for our sake okay insect and all that and even the road builder for example he work in the sun at the peak hours he can gain also two million per hour that it will be deducted so that's why he don't earn so much Wow. Wow. Oh, just like in this physical life, we, we earn a lot of money sometimes, but then the tax is uh, deducted from our salary and many other bills, you know, electric bills, water bills, insurance. Any of the light and sound practitioners out there, not necessarily in our group, will benefit greatly if they follow these guidelines, all right? I'm saying all this to you so that the Kuanin practitioner outside anywhere else from other master teacher will also benefit. Even the teacher or the master of the light and sound elsewhere themselves would benefit greatly if they sit in the sun, under the sun, near the sun. We'd cover a course of this too hard. Even not light and sound practitioner, if you just sit there and recite the holy names, yeah? Or if you recite the Buddha's name, you benefit many millions as well, okay? I also tell in all this for all kind of spiritual denomination, schools and practices, so that they can benefit more, okay? Yes, Master. Do you want to know some of the people that you know how much they get it? Yes, yes Master. Master. Okay, first of all, I tell you, the Supreme Master, TV staff, meditate. You have more benefit for yourself and for the world than other uh, light and sound practitioners because you're selfless. Understand me? Yes, Master. A selfless offering is always beneficial. Anytime any selfish motivation always restrict people and cause a lot of havoc for the Master and for themselves. For example, if you want to like restrict me or grasp me for yourself somehow, for some reason, in your heart, then at the end you lose me completely. Yes, Master. Because every time we think negatively or we think selfishly, we are on the side of the negative power. And then they can do what they want with you. Couple with the blessing of your Master that is very strong. And then the Master is in trouble and you yourself too. Yes, Master. So always unconditional love because of that. So that you will have everything and less trouble for the Master. Got it? Yes, yes master. master. Did I tell you the story about a sick Master who meditate and the bed broke and her, his daughter uh, sustained it with her hand and she was bleeding and, and wounded all night, but she kept it. And then the Master grant her any boon she wants. And the boom she wanted was that the master lineage stays in the family circle. My God, that was very selfish. Spiritual blessing and spiritual mantle, spiritual power is not commercial items. It's not inheritance property. You understand? Yes, master. I'm really surprised that a daughter of a master should think that way. But you know, as most people, <laughs> Many people in the world, they want everything for themselves, the family, friends, and that's how our world are not as peace yet, and not as happy as it would have been if everybody's less selfish. Yeah? Okay? Yes, Master. If you work for others, for example, like Supreme Master TV, then you gain more, even if in the same level. For example, Another one in practitioner at Hyther, and you work as Supreme Master TV Hyther, you will benefit more from the sun. You gain more from the sun. 
the two of you sit the same place in the sun, you, Supreme Master TV, working staff, are the ones who work for the noble cause, yeah, for the teaching of the Master. We gain more than the other people who don't do anything for the group, for the, the Master power to save the other souls, then gain less. Even you sit in the same spot, under the same sun, in the same hours, and having the same sincerity. <laughs> okay? Yes, yeah, Master. Thank you. So before you worry that when you work for Supreme Master TV, do you have merit or not merit? I told you, <laughs> if you don't, you must work. Because that's the only way that we are worthy to be human beings. We must be here to help each other, to help others, to elevate. Okay? It's not yes, possible. Master. We don't know under which circumstances I work most of the time. Okay? I still try to, whenever I can, okay? Yes, Master. That's the only way we should live our life. Our life is short, or even long, whatever. We have to live for the, the noble principle. We can't just live just to eat, breathe, and sleep, and then die, huh? Yes, yes, Master. Even if we die, we die for others, for the good cause, for God, for the divine benefit of others, huh? That's the only yes, thing that is worthy of living for. Don't you think? Yes, yes, yes master. master. Cool. Every time you help someone, we help someone, even help the master with the intention of to gain merit, then you don't gain anything. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay? Maybe you just gain merit by the action of helping only. Yes? Just like, for example, if you're a nurse, and then you earn it just regularly, like a nurse, if you help a master, you earn a little bit more by the action only, you know? Not the spiritual merit. Okay? All right. So, beware. And also another thing, for example, Supreme Master TV staff, when you meditate and you want to benefit the world, then you benefit the world more than ordinary Kuan Yin or Light and Sound practitioners. See? We have to thank the Sun wholeheartedly and humbly, sincerely, and so, so gratefully that I have been revealed all this information because this info above and below that I have told you or maybe continue later on, or we have to thank the Sun infinitely, the magnificent Sun, the benevolent Sun, the noble Sun, the spiritually so high spiritual Sun to reveal to me this because in the whole universe it has not been told. It has not been revealed. I don't know why I'm chosen. You know, except the highest being, you know, they know that. They don't have to be revealed. But the thing is, to know is one thing, and to be allowed to reveal, that's another thing. I have begged for what I can do better and better for human beings. Perhaps that's why the Sun heard me. That's why the universe allow me to, to reveal this to you and the world, okay? <laughs> I was dying to reveal, because the sooner the better. Yes, Master, thank, thank you. So much, you. Thank you so much, Master. Okay, good. And thank you, the Sun.